Have you ever found yourself going through some difficult times? I mean, it's your health. If it's not your health, there's someone whom you love deeply and they died unexpectedly and you're having to contend with the grief on that. And right when you think that's it, you're confronted with some issues that you're going to have to contend with and these issues were not of your own doing. You're a good person. You do the very best you can. Why is this all happening to me? Well, let's talk about it right here on Honest Talks from Merrick. Hello, welcome to my channel. For the next few minutes, I want to talk about why bad things happen to good people. The first thing I want to do, I want to be very, very clear about this. God is not the one who puts bad in people's lives. The Bible says Satan is like a lion out to devour and to destroy. Now, the question may come up, well, why does God allow bad things to happen to good people? Well, I don't know. And as a believer in Christ, when we get to glory with the Lord, you know, if he doesn't let you know why you're here through your prayers, you can inquire about it then. But I do want to be clear. God is not the one that has bad things happen to anyone for that matter. But he will allow it to happen. Now, as a believer in Christ, it is incumbent upon you to remember and understand that the Bible says it rains on the just and the unjust. No one, and I mean no one, escapes life without challenges, without problems, without disappointments. That is inevitable. It's going to happen. Now, I don't want to sound doom and gloom because Jesus did say that I've come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. However, Jesus also said we will have tribulations. So it is incumbent upon us as believers is to be prepared and ready for this. Now, again, the question is, why does bad things happen to good people? Well, God has a purpose. He has a purpose in all of our lives. He has a purpose in your life. Whether you, whether you think you're insignificant or not, you do matter in the eyes of God. And he has a purpose. The Bible tells us a somewhat familiar passage of scripture in Romans 8, 28. It says, and we know that in all things, not some things, but all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. So the first thing we have to understand is God has a purpose. Now, we have what is known as a finite mind. Our thinking is limited. God is infinite in thinking. There's no limits. He is omnipotent in power and he is infinite in wisdom. And there are things that go on that we will never understand. We're not capable of understanding. But what we can do is trust in God. And the only way that's going to happen is to develop that relationship with God. But that's, all, that's, another, that's a whole other thing. But we have to trust God as believers in Christ. The Bible tells us in Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 through 6, it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. We have to trust God, believe that he's going to carry us through. Yes, you're a believer in Christ. Yes, you may have found yourself going through some things that uh, you're the victim of unfair circumstances. I know that's not a comfortable thing. It's one thing when you're going through a tough time because of our own doing, but it's another thing when you're going through, uh, through some tough times and it was not of your own doing. But we have to trust in him and know that however things pan out, God is in the mix. And the Bible said, if God is for us, who can be against us? The next thing we have to do when we're going through life's valleys is that we have to pray to our Father in heaven through Christ Jesus. Pray. The Bible says pray without ceasing. That is important. 
The Bible tells us in Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 through 7. It says, do not be anxious about anything, but in every, and in every situation by prayer and petition. With thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So we have to pray. And the next thing we have to understand, because when we go through these challenges in life, we're going to grow from them. The Bible tells us in James chapter 1, verses 2 through 4, it says, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. So when we go through these challenges in life, we're going to grow from them. I want to leave this with you. Remember your wilderness. Remember what you go through. I'm not saying dwell on it. But whatever challenges that you're confronted with, remember them because there's a purpose and a plan. And God will see you through one way or another. I'm talking about why bad things happen to good people. God has a plan and he has a purpose. And sometimes we are unable or not even capable of understanding that. Okay, listen, I hope this was a blessing to you. And if so, you can give me a thumbs up. And uh, I, I look forward to getting these videos out. It takes a lot of time. I am not a techie person. And some of you watch me may know that because I've said that already. But uh, if you want to follow me, uh, just hit the subscribe button. And, and we want, I want to get God's word out as much as I possibly can. Amen. Until then, may God richly bless you and yours.